Y'all niggas got me hot. If you know this shit, sing along. Niggas got me hot. Hey, well that's exactly what the nigga came for. You take your shots from afar. I'ma meet you at your front door. Welcome back to another installment of Julian's Random Projects. I wanted to give you guys another update on the MG Midget electric conversion. Uh, we've got the motor mounted, including some brackets here. The brackets are just temporary until I can weld up something. They're temporary because I'm not 100% sure about the position of the motor. So no point in welding up bespoke ones if I'm not going to use them. And I know a lot of you saw the uh, there was some orientation of the inverter. A lot of you guys saw it going from left to right but I abandoned that for uh, front to back. Got about the business of modifying the air-cooled fins to fit. So hard to be doing what you really meant for beauty. But don't I make it look easy? Don't I make it look good? Hey, you drink up all my liquor. Come on, what I'm supposed to do now? And you stop getting all that shit. Now come on, you gon' have to back it up. If I get too high now, sugar, come on. Uh, we're still a bit proud in the front, but I'm hoping that that drops down uh, when I bend these fins out. I'm going to leave them intact, but bend them from left to right to try and uh, cl to try and close in the, the gap that we have here. And I think that when that comes down, we'll be pretty flush on the on the top there. Other things that have been done: uh, temporarily ratcheted down the batteries or some subset of the battery pack uh, that we'll ultimately use. My plan is to hide them in the trunk and maybe even making uh, an extension of the trunk down into where the gas tank would have been so that I can get them a little bit lower and then build a false floor above them so that I can still store a couple things in the trunk. We put the stick shift back in, temporarily wired some, some things up, ran the high voltage cables in through an existing port, which I think is a, um, a symmetric hole. This is just capped off, but I think that when this is right hand drive, that's where your brake pedals would go through. So that same access port exists on left and right sides of the vehicle. So I'm using that to pass some high voltage lines through. Again, just temporary. If this ends up being a permanent solution, I'll probably 3D print something that holds these captive in the center here and, and passes them through more safely. I removed the heater core, which for the midget is up in the front here. It's like a little mini radiator uh, that you run you would run hot water through from the engine block and then air past that to bring hot air into the cabin. It's being removed because I need the space for the inverter here. Once I hiccup, the old Phillips head screws that were holding this thing in place were completely stripped out and so I had to drill out the heads and remove it that way. I also removed the accelerator pedal, the original one with a cable that went to a carburetor. And I did this to make room for the Toyota Prius pedal that I have, uh, which will give us some drive-by wire capabilities. All right, there's nothing left to do but to jack up the uh, back axle, get those wheels off the ground so that if we can get this thing to turn, it won't go moving around in the garage on us. I'll start by plugging in or applying power to both the ECU the inverter, and then lastly, the high voltage relay. 
All right, so we'll put it in first gear and apply some throttle. All right, so that's, <laughs> that is some success. It moves, only the transmission is making a very, very funky sound. It's almost as if there's teeth that are missing in some of the gearing in there, because uh, I'll, I'll hear it spin up and then it'll kind of run and then clack, it'll hit a thing and engage and then the, the, the wheels will spin. But it's not steady going. And then if I, if I put it into neutral, uh, not, not with a clutch, because we're, we're, we're without clutch now, uh, but if I kind of just get it in here when it, where, it's, where it's banging around in neutral, it still feels like it is engaging a little bit, but I've, I've, I have to move it around and, ju and find just the right sweet spot. And then there'll be no connection between the, the motor shaft and the drive shaft here. Uh, and then when it's in that position, I can rev up the electric motor very easily, it, even up to some high RPMs. Uh, initially, I thought that this might have been one of my earlier settings that I had in the uh, in the motor controller where I limited RPM and I also limited torque down to something very very docile so, so that when I was testing with things I wasn't gonna break something or if this uh, you know spinning wildly out of control there wasn't gonna be enough torque to go breaking things and so I thought well maybe it can't even overcome some of the uh, the old rust that is probably clearly uh, in there but if I can spin it easily with my hand I don't I, I doubt that the the resistance is all that great to the shaft so I went in and bumped up the the number of Newton meters of torque that are allowed to be applied to this thing and I got the same result it still still makes a funky sound uh, when when it's spinning so highlights got a lot of work done got the wheels spinning many things are working at this point uh, it's just a shame that it's got this motor's got to come out one more time so that we can get at the transmission. Now, luckily, as you've also seen in a previous uh, video about these midgets, I bought a parts car. So don't be worried about this project being stagnated. Uh, I will take a stab at opening up this transmission and seeing if there's something obvious. Uh, it's one of these cases where you can't double break it, it's already broken. Uh, so I'm gonna take it apart without fear of messing something up. I might be able to force it into, you know, there, there might be some gear that's stripped out and I can just, move some of those gears around or force it to always be in third gear or fourth gear or something like that because the electric motor I could I could technically connect the shafts directly through and have no transmission and I'd be fine uh, this car doesn't weigh enough and I'd, I'd be able to pull away just fine uh, with the the amazing amounts of torque that this motor can produce so if I get in there and I don't see something very obvious like some carrier member that needs to be replaced for like a hundred bucks I can just get some of these parts online then I will pull the red midget in and yank its transmission out oh boy. all right if you guys have enjoyed watching this and you want to follow along and see, see how we get on with fixing the transmission and then ultimately getting this thing back on the road so we can get it washed and cleaned up <laughs> uh, maybe some interior pieces installed who knows uh, follow along Julian Drennan projects I'm hanging Thanks. in, there ain't no doubt, and I'm hanging tough over and out, over and out.